Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I make my Liberian rice bread or how I make my rice bread. So, um, I had two cup of cream of wheat. I decided to use cream of wheat because I didn't have cream of rice, but it's the same thing. It come out really nice and yummy. And I had six ripe banana. I guess the kids didn't feel like eating the banana this time, so when it got too ripe, I, I'm like, let me just make good use out of it. So yeah, so right now I have um, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of of salt. Um, I had two teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of baking soda. I have my like two teaspoon of vanilla extra. I just like everything to be a little bit extra and I have half cup of vegetable oil. I have one cup of milk. So yeah, and I had two eggs. You can have you can use one but I prefer two. I don't know, I just like everything to be extra and rich. And I have my, my ginger. I blend it up so uh, it's like rice bread without a ginger is a disaster to me. So I love ginger in the rice bread. So right now I'm just going to mash my banana with my masher. Because I didn't feel like blending it, you know, I didn't just feel like doing too much extra work Taking it out doing this and that so I'm just gonna mash it up um, To the point like um, lumps will be in it, but not like too big or a lot of lumps So like, you know, nice like cream And with a little bit of lumps in there and then after that, I'm going to mix all the wet ingredients together and all the dry ingredients together. That way it helps for it to really like um, mix well and stuff like that. So like, you know guys, my mother used to make the best rice bread. Like, she used to bake, you know, she used to sell, you know, she was like a business woman. Um, she made business for a living and stuff like that. So she used to sell rice bread. She would make it back home, like, you know, making rice bread back home back then, maybe, what, like about 15, 20 years ago, it used to be a little bit different, like the process, because we didn't have everything so easily, like how in America, everything is all already and stuff like that, like back when you have to beat the rice, sift it, you know, get it to how the rice, the cream of rice look like in the box and stuff like that, and then when you're baking it, you don't have an oven, you have to use like the full spoon with fire on it and make the fire and then and then pour another fire on the top of it so yeah it's a little bit extra back home making you know these stuff so my mother used to do that and stuff like that so yeah so now i had missed my wet ingredients and I'm putting my ginger in there too. Oh, I love ginger in the rice bread. It's the best. It tastes so good. Like the ginger and the um, the nutmeg, both of them together in the rice bread. That's my favorite part. It's the best. So yes, guys, I'm just gonna mix my 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 dry ingredients together and start mixing really well, especially with the, the nutmeg. It kind of be having like the lump in there and stuff like that so you really want to mix it so when you add all together it don't have like bubbles of numbing over it and stuff like that so it's annoying to me so yeah that's that's what i'm doing mixing it up everybody bake differently everybody do things differently and stuff so if you feel like i'm doing something wrong well this is just the way i do my my stuff so everybody do things differently so now i'm just gonna mix it really nicely and make sure everything is mixed together and stuff and then add a, the half cup um of vegetables oil in there and really mix it well I'm tasting it to make sure it tastes good. Make sure everything is right in there. So I'm just putting a little bit of vegetable oil in, into my pan and, you know, try to 
get it all up in the pan and stuff because you don't want the bread to be all sticky up onto the pan so you want for the oil to sit nicely around the pan so that the bread can bake well and can be able to come out right I'm just pouring it in there as you can see, the bread is nicely in the pan and they have the, the oil sitting around the, the, the bread, so that's good, because when it's cooking, it, it's going to show that it, you know, it's not going to burn or it's not going to stick to the pan, so so here you go guys, my bread is all ready, um, you bake it on 375 to 400 and for one hour so yeah um i'm just cutting it just show you guys how it look like um i like my bread really dark brown i don't like it looking you know like light brown and stuff it just show that it ain't done when you're baking it you can also take a fork and stick it into it and it will show you if it's dry because it will show you water you will show, see like a little bit of water on the, on the fork so yeah guys you can eat this bread with um for breakfast you know lunch snack you can eat it for um dessert whatever you know when we having um parties this is one of our major um how you call it we can have on the side so yes guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share so i'll see you guys in my next video guys bye bye